Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This is my third major session of the game. From what I'm to understand, I still have like 10 levels left or something crazy like that. Um, some people are saying you can beat the game in 10 hours. I, I'm, I'm fully of the belief you can. But as you've seen, what I'm trying to do is complete every single puzzle in the game, which is pretty painstakingly time consuming. But I'm okay with it because the puzzles are pretty fun. In fact, what we're doing right now is going to be one of the most unique puzzles in the game where we got to do this very elaborate series of switch, switch hitting to get this ball to go down a track here. It should be pretty neat. I'm actually uh, excited to see if I can make this work and see, you know, I'm assuming the reward at the end is the golden spatula, right? So yeah, we're gonna, uh, you know, resume from here and see where the game takes us. Knows nobody did 100 bit cheery says, have you decided whether you're gonna play Ghost of Tsushima with English or Japanese dub? I haven't even given it the first thought yet. That's a few weeks away here. Okay, are we ready to try to do this? Hopefully I didn't hit that too early. Okay. How does this... Oh, there we go. Actually, I might have done that one too early. This has to go around the track first, I believe. It has to go all the way around, so I gotta have to do this again, I bet. Okay. Okay. Another switch to hit over there. All right. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Oh no! Okay, look at this. Oh, I just screwed up. Yup. I need. I didn't know how this worked. I need to go back and forth here. To get it to launch into that next thing. Okay, what will it do once I, it goes in there? Pretty cat, take it. Yeah, it looks like it'll pop it up. Yeah, it looks like it'll pop it up. And probably make this fan move. And it looks like, yeah, look, there's a switch behind the fan. Right? Oh, by the way, there's a sock over there I need to grab. Cool, I'm going to grab that now that I see it. So then I'm going to hit this switch. Then I don't know where the ball's going to go, actually. Maybe that's the end. Maybe you hit that switch and then it opens the spatula. Maybe. Okay, let's get this. Uh, let's get this sock. So the tub it looks to me the toughest part is gonna be this part right here where I need to hit this platform to get it to go in there. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Okay, a stinky sock hidden over there. <clears throat> All right, let's try it again. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. This you gotta wait for. Boom, 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 Batman, no 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 no. Batman, no 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 no. Batman, I said he's he's the goddamn Batman. Oh yeah. Okay. He's the goddamn Batman. Oh yeah. Batman, 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 Batman. Just my size. There we go. 
There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. No! Okay, okay, go, 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 right, 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 right. Oh, I think I did it. What the? Okay, look at that. I did it, achievement. Keep it rolling. Nice. See, that's that's a really fun room. In fact, that's actually, I think, one of the coolest things so far in the game. A really cool elaborate puzzle. So what's funny about this is, I just talked about the people before I started recording for YouTube. A game reviewer from GameSpot couldn't do this puzzle. A game reviewer from GameSpot couldn't time the, the switches where you have to roll the ball into these switches. In fact, it was this one over here, this one right here. He couldn't do Somehow, it. I don't think he, sta he, needs he a stands hand. there in his review for a good minute trying to do this switch, and he can't hit it. He's like, "Oh, when you hold the ball, you walk forward too far. So when you release the ball, finally, the switch doesn't work." Bolo Rama. It's like, what are you talking about? You saw how easy I did it, right? Anyway, that's mainstream game reviewers versus actual gamers, I guess. All right, so I got a stinky sock. And I got, wait a minute. No, that's the stinky sock over there. What I want to do is very quickly take another quick look and make sure there was no other hidden stinky socks before we move on. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? There's a purple, how would I get up there? There's a purple piece up there. I guess maybe you would platform there from over here. Okay. Oh, I am terrible at games, but I am an actual gamer. That's the difference. Even a gamer who's terrible at games, 10 times out of 10 will play a game work better than a games journalist. Because games journalists are just people who go to school for journalism and decide that, you know, this is what I want to do for my job. And they decide to get into the games journalism field even though most of them don't even play fucking games or they suck ass at them. And they think that they're going to do it professionally. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I don't think you see anything else right now. Oh. Return to the Mermelayer main chamber. Okay, whoops. I agree, Derek, the game does have great music. So far, I really like the soundtrack. It's a highlight for me. Huh. The next room is going to be a boss. I have all the socks. There's only four in Mermelair. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm missing something. I, I missed a switch somewhere. I don't know where, but I, apparently I missed a switch somewhere. Right? Because it's still not open over here. And it said I needed to hit, what, four switches? Is that what they said? So how did I miss a, I missed a switch somewhere? I'm, there was a switch in the ballroom, I'm being told. Uh, really? Talk to the computer, can you? I have regained control of the security oh. system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Oh, there we go. Now press the master shutdown button. Cool. Thank you for telling me that, guy. Obviously, I don't remember if I hit all the switches or not. Oh, I hit it. Okay. So what did that do? I hit the map to shut down, but okay. Nothing happened. You should go help Mermaid Man. Ah. He's in the villain containment area. Oh, I see. It opened up the new bridge. Gotcha. We go this way now. Happy Taco Monday to you as well, Kate. How's everyone doing today? Good. Bum, 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 bum. So, villain containment. I wish I could move faster right now, but... <laughs> oh, here we go. Bum, 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 well, Justin Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. 
That's villain containment system. Is that bad? <laughs> Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. Uh -oh. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn? Uh -oh. Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! Is this supposed to be a con reference from Star, the Star Trek? You can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. <laughs> thing I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Uh, hello, King Michael. Take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. Whoa. Whoa! What on earth? There we go. Double check. But I think we got everything in the room. The boss room. I feel like a new sponge. We fight the prawn. The prawn. Okay. Uh, Beast bought me a dollar thirty, and he says, "What's the proper way to smoke a cigar?" I have no idea. 
The few times that I smoked a cigar, I smoked it for the flavor. Not for any kind of nicotine intake or anything like that. So I just kind of put the smoke in my mouth and tasted it. I thought it tasted really good. Um, but that was when I was like, you know, early 2000s. So. Huh. Cool guy is here. He's been for 40 months. Cool guy, what's going on, man? Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing all right. And welcome to the stream. And thank you for 40 months of support, obviously. Appreciate that, man. Who wants to look the Plankton voice actor? Maybe he was. Let's take a look here. We got everything. We got every single spatula. We got all the switches and all the socks. We're 100% in this area. Cool. Alright. So we can leave. Well, actually, we should just fast travel. I don't want to walk all the way back. Go back to... Bikini Bottom. To... Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Derek says, little trivia, Prawn is not from the show. He's an original character, I guess, for this game. Interesting. He's not in the show at all. Okay. I cannot raise my mic volume at all. It's not possible. My mic volume is completely maxed. There's no way I could raise it. Alexander Rossi cheers to GameSpot gave this game a 2 out of 10 almost certainly concretely hurt the game's sales. How can they get away with that shit? They shouldn't. They're your completely irresponsible shitheads. The review is, is a joke. Both GameSpot and IGN's reviews are a huge joke. Do they cite actual game bugs, issues, or making the game not fun or unplayable? No. Here's what they say. The gameplay is outdated, and we really liked the Spyro remake trilogy and the Crash Remake Trilogy better because those had dramatic game improvements. This game has no game improvements, therefore it's like a two out of 10. It's like, wait, what? Does the game work? Yes. As core face value, if you're a fan of SpongeBob, will you like the game? Sure, there's tons of references and everything. Um, You know, is the game in general fun to play? Yeah. So what's why is it a two out of 10? Oh, because they didn't improve the game. This game is for two different audiences. It's for an audience who played the original and wants to play it with modern graphics 20 years later. It's also for people who never played the original like me and just wants to have a chill, fun time. This is not for someone who wants to play a serious modern game. Why the fuck would you buy a game that's 20 years old and expect it to play like a modern game? Oh, because you're a fucking idiot and you should not earn a paycheck to be an idiot on the internet and ruin game sales. So, I could have written a better review for this game with my eyes shut when I played it. But, you know, I'm not a games journalist. I get to have fun on stream all day and hang out with you guys. And that's why you guys watch me, because I'm honest and because I do a better job than those fucking hacks. I love opening presents. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Alright, we gotta move uh, back up here. Up for a game of SpongeBob. So, so far, we did the rest home, which went to the Mermelair. That's done now. Now this looks like it's Sandy Cheek's house, right? Let's see what's going on here. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking! Uh-oh. Oh, he's in air. That's right. He's in air, so look at him. Look how he looks. Them there robots <clears throat> busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots, and it's all your fault. So get so, in there and clean up your mess. How's it his fault? He didn't do it. I see we gotta kill robots. Are you ready, kids? You just met the Spongeinator. <laughs> Oh, there's her wheel. Alrighty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. That was fast. I love that he looks so fuck fucked up in here. Because he's air instead of water, so he's not hydrated. He's all dr a dried out sponge. Yeah. Fresh like a spring breeze. Okay. 
Golden Nobles cheered. He said, do a ground pound on top of the Golden Statue for a surprise? Oh, really? Well, that's outside here. I will try that. Thank you, Golden Nobles. For this hit. I feel like a new sponge. See, this is why the game is good. In the show, this is exactly what happens when he goes to the Sandy Cheeks place that has air in it. He dries out and looks all weird. So the game does it too as an Easter egg, you know, to the show. Or a re direct reference to the show. That's why this game is good. If you're a fan of the show, you're really going to like Fresh, this game. Like a spring if you're breeze. an idiot looking for a modern game, you're going to be disappointed because it's not a modern game. No, we can't go inside her house. Oh. There's no way I can help her here. Oh, hi, Sandy. Stop your yapping and let's get robot trapping. Hopefully she fixes that. Maybe there's more to do in here later. That'd be disappointing if that's all that's here. Oh, it's Patrick. <laughs> okay. All righty. All right, I'm gonna ground pound this golden statue and see what happens. That's seriously all there ever is in the tree dome? That's lame. There should be more than that. Didn't do anything. I guess the surprise is that I got trolled. There's nothing here. That's a surprise. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Bubble bowling is in. A I won't forget. The Bubble bowling. <laughs> nice. I already got this. Yep, I already did this. It was the challenge, the time challenge. Nothing back there. I want to look around before I go into any of these areas. So this is. Rock bottom, which I saw the episode. That's where he's at the very bottom of the sea. It's all the weird fish and stuff that are from the ocean bottom. <clears throat> what is this, police department? Yeah. Here we've got the chum bucket. Okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's an invisible wall. That looks like it's a, holy, a whole different part of town, the chum bucket area. Because I see other stuff down there to do. I should probably do the other stuff first. Mature adult! Just reason for seven months. He said, what a roller coaster it's been. It's a special day tonight. I'm cooking my specialty sausage surprise. Well, there you go. Thank you for the support. Maniac Couch, he said, any chance you'll be seeing me play something else later today? This isn't my taste. Tonight, I'm doing more Last of Us 2. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a chip. He wants 9,000. I've only got 3,800, so that's out. Nice. All right, over here we've got Sand Mountain. Okay. All right, I guess what we should do, we should do them in order. So the first one should be Rock Bottom, because that's only 25, right? Uh, I don't remember, Derek, if I saw that episode or not. Yeah, we'll do this first. Rock Bottom. Imperial Nico says you can glitch through and get to Chum Bucket with the sponge ball and bouncing off and jumping. It's done in speed runs. <clears throat> so that's how they beat it so Welcome fast. Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom. Yeah, yeah. Home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Ha <laughs> It's supposed to be the bottom of the sea is like where the weirdest creatures live. They still say to this day that we haven't charted the most of the bottom of the sea. There's weird stuff down there that no one knows about. Feed himself. He's guarding the restroom from the show. That's hilarious. Spongebob oh, had to use the bathroom. Bob, I'm I'll tell you in a second. Glad you're here. Believe it or not. So Spongebob had to use the bathroom in rock bottom. One is question mark. One's the upside down question mark. He's like, which is for which gender? I can't tell. And the, the fish were going in and out, and you couldn't tell what gender they were because they all look so weird. I guess it was supposed to be a joke. 
Angelo Best just did a 245 bit cheer. He says, I feel like more people these days are tuning to YouTubers like you for game reviews. I watched you play Heavy Rain and Alice Madness Returns and decided to play the games based off your content. Your review of AC Revelations had me in stitches when you were talking about an Angry Birds minigame. IGN and company have been outdated for years. Yet they persist. I don't understand why. I, I really don't. They are 100% outdated garbage content that don't need to exist anymore. And I said that for many years. They just There's no purpose to those sites. You will get better content out of any real gamer content creator that does indie style content than you will out of any mainstream game review site or mainstream journalism site. They don't need to exist. I don't know why they do, but... I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. Only if this. you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Yet another uh, collection quest. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. <laughs> Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Okay. How many pieces of artwork are there? Six pieces of artwork, nine stinky socks. Okay. It's time to start investigating rock bottom. What is this? Candy? What was that? Huh? I have no idea what's going on. Oh. The vending machine is, is how he, why he kept missing the bus, so it's supposed to be Easter egg reference to the show. Oh, okay. This is a sleepy time robot. SpongeBob must be carefully when near him or he will wait. <clears throat> like this. There, but I can't reach it from here. <clears throat> Bees bought to me dollar thirty and said, "I watched IGN's review of the game. The same hacks who gave Last of Us to a full ten out of ten. How do they make money? Advertisement, <clears throat> advertisement revenue. That's how they make money. And sponsorships. Those are the two ways that they make money. They shouldn't, but they do." <clears throat> Well, I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore all around here first. So everyone's collapsed, so SpongeBob sneaks across them carefully. I love opening presents. Oh, shit. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Oh. Apparently you can't hit him. That's it. That's over this area. Alright. Hey, Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. Uh. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, mm. but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? <laughs> Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. 
Cool the nobles choose to, you're, uh, it turns out you must have already gotten the stock from the statue last time. And he apologized. It's cool, dude. Don't worry. It's all good. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, <laughs> man. I thought you could platform up there and then get up there, but you can't. There's a golden spatula up there. See it? You almost have to do it from another direction. Okay. Alright, let me get this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, get teleportation. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, whoa, 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 you ass. I, mean, I could have went up, but it looks like it was blocked. I just wanted to open that switch. There's multiple ways to go here. Okay, we need to find a, a way to switch out characters. <clears throat> I haven't seen a bus stop yet. <laughs> okay. Right in the face. There's one of the, uh, the uh, robot creators over there. Oh! Another one of the Sandy Swing Pads. Cool. Hello, Adam Outlaw. How you doing? I'm just actually trying to get all the achievements. I mean, if they're not super difficult, I might. Like I said, I am trying to get all the collectibles and everything. Alright, let me kill this, this stupid machine. Feel like a new sponge. Holy crap. There you go. I'll try to get all the sandy swing pads. Just my size. No, Derek, I don't remember how SpongeBob got home in this episode because I, I didn't see the end of it. I didn't see the end of it. I'd used the bathroom badly and <laughs> we just looked at kept playing, so I missed the end of it. If I drop down there, there's a sock below us. But I'm curious, should I do that? I don't know if I'll be able to get back up here or not. Hmm. I guess I'll try. I'll get the sock and see if there's a way back. Now, see, now I'm in a totally new area. Oh, crap. Tomahawk MCX just resubscribed for eight months. Thank you, Tomahawk, for the resub and the support. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where am I now? Back over here. Okay. Go back down there. me off. <clears throat> How many spatulas do we have? Probably like 40 something. 
My day is going well. Thank you for asking, Timbo Slice 89. So far, so good. Good day. Fun day. Just my size. Oh, come on. God damn it. Maybe there's another way to get down there, but I don't know, like, I already got in there, so I want to go back. Just met the sponginator. All right, let's just try to go this way. Oh, look at that. Fresh like a spring breeze. I got him. Yeah, SpongeBob creamy pants to me dollar and said you could crop you could hit these, you have to be really close. So I tried it and it worked. Leave it a dollar tip. Okay. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. <laughs> what do we do this too? Whoa. Yeah, oh my god, look at that combo. That was sick. It was completely inadvertent, but it worked. Look at that now, okay. I feel like a new sponge. All kinds of stuff activating, but I don't know where that was. I don't know where that was to go check it out, unless maybe it's Sandy has to swing over all those and then go up there and go down the slide, maybe? I don't know how to switch out to Sandy, though. I haven't seen a bus stop yet. are all lit. Oh, okay, look. Okay, it's leading me this way now. Oh, the ramp opened up now. Okay. Fresh like a spring breeze. Ow, I didn't know that happened. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm rollerific. Cool. Ow. Oh no! Are you kidding? What the hell? Where am I? What the? Whoa, I have no idea where I am right now. I'm a totally different area. <laughs> oh wait, is that... Maybe that's where I was supposed to be before? This is so confusing now. What's going on? Shit. I'm like no health. This 
there's underwear over there, but there's enemies between me and the underwear. Nice. This looks like it's the end of it's the end of the slide. But there's no way I can go up the slide. I gotta go the other way. Well crap. I'm gonna have to really search these areas thoroughly. I'm right off the edge. Screw you. Alright. Fresh like a spring breeze. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Get out of here. I feel like so this is where start. I was. Yeah, this is where I was dropping down to. You gotta be kidding. Okay, I survived. Where does this go? I mean, I can get to, I can go to the slide now if I want. This is so confusing. Hmm. That's a dead end, so there's no point in going that way. Oh, what the hell? Just leads me right back to where I was. I wonder if I can slide up. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be much down here. Which is weird. You would think there'd at least be like a spatula challenge or something of use down here. Uh, here we go. I don't know. What if I want to go up the slide? Well, let me go up instead of down the slide. I don't know. It seems like I need Sandy to go higher up here. But I haven't seen a place to swap to Sandy. Bottom looks like this in the show. This is a great replica. All right, I wrecked the cannon now. That's good. <coughs> Let's climb the two brushes. I feel like a new sponge. The bus stop. Aha. This probably gets you get cheese. Indeed. Cool. Nice. A 
Lucky she can swing across the other higher area. Haha! <laughs> Nice! Okay. Aerial lasso Good. kill. Better. <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing anything before I swing. Not as good as Texas barbecue sauce. <laughs> Someone better make a uh -huh. all these. A hidden sticky sock. Ooh. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? Yes. You do. It's part of your job. So I guess I can swing over there, and there's a trampoline. See that? If I did swing over there, I wonder... Oh. They want me to go to the museum. But I want to investigate over here first. Aha! Look over here. All new stuff. New piece of art? Yeah, you weren't able to access this earlier. Oh. Huh. What did that do? I don't know. I'm not sure. I hit a switch, but I don't know if it activated anything. Oh, look! Holy crap! Alright, I need to swing from that over there and get that golden spatula. That's crazy. All right. That'll be my first golden spatula of the stage. No! Oh, I thought it bounced straight up. That sucked. Oh, and I gotta go back. Damn it, I'm way down here. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Jack's party says he's been sick for the last week. Being able to watch this really helps. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Jack. It's gonna be tough to swing on that. Okay. Okay. Nice! I did it! Nice. Alright, let's grab all this. Oh, there's a hidden green one below me as well. Artificial bubble on your head there. Ha <laughs> Okay. We're gonna go back again. Yep. I guess now we can go to the museum. I haven't done everything down below on the ramp yet. You know, the slide. But I think we've done most of the stuff up here. Um. Now I got a couple stinky socks. 
And then what you're supposed to do is swing across all those to get to the museum. That's where our uh, our goal is to get in this big area, I think. It's not 100% clear, but I think that's it. There's a museum. It looks like I've done everything back there. I don't see anything else over there, so... Alright, we're gonna try to go down here. Uh, Gamer Boy took me a dollar and said, I'm offended by Cindy's stereotypical text and character, therefore the game should be cancelled. Alright, we're cancelling it. Anything that references anything is, is offensive and should be cancelled immediately. I agree with you. Okay. There's the bus stop, so there's another bus stop here. Oh, golden spatula right here, cool. Very good. Rock Bottom Museum is the next area. Now, I don't know if I got everything or not. <clears throat> I guess once I go through the museum, I can see then what's left, but maybe I didn't get something on the slide. I never even went down the whole slide. I only went down a part of the slide, so. Nah, let's do the museum. Is this kind of like Banjo? I mean, in the, in the fact that it's a collection quest, yes, but the gameplay is much better in my opinion. Banjo is just an insanely frustrating game. Derek, I agree. I like the modernized graphics of the game. I think they did a good job making it look like a modern game. Hey there, Barnacle Boy. Okay. Panda Girl Reborn just did a 300 bit cheer. You need a Panda Girl Reborn for a 300 bit cheer. Let's get you on the leaderboard. <clears throat> Biggest cheer of the day. Thank you for the support. Okay. Alright. Say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay? Barnacle Boy. So. I was just, I guess I was supposed to be SpongeBob. Yep, I'm supposed to be SpongeBob here. All right, let me swap out then. Looks pretty dangerous. Is I'm sorry, Angelo, you were dethroned by another top cheerer. <laughs> uh. Uh. Museum. Barnacle boy! Are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the golden spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Okay. Do you have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle free? Uh. Like you. Pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Wow. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir. That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. So I need to hit four switches. Good lord. Uh, this could be dangerous. That's one. Aha! Cool. Hopefully, getting each one makes it a little easier. Dude, I seriously need to walk on the floor, don't I? Oh my god. How am I gonna do that?
Actual things from the show. Oh, there's a sock under there for when I disable all the security. Yeah. See that? Ah! Yeah. Wow. Murdered. I was murdered. Terrible. Terrible, brutal murder. Not good. Ready for another fantastic day! Now I gotta hit them all again. Yeah, I do. Wow, a oh, great start. Side's done. My problem is I did it in the wrong order. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Oh crap! Oh, okay. Last one. Sock over there, I can grab. Oh, sparkly! Another find for Patrick! 18 sneaky socks. A sleepy robot. Let's get him. Two bullets of lasers are tricky business. Ah, okay. Checkpoint two. I feel like a new spot. We got some platforming. What's over here? Super combo. Alright, I can't get past those lasers as of yet. So it's up to the sable first, right? Our breezy says some people pay good money to see me dying repeatedly. I mean, I guess. Not really, not one of them pay the money to do it. But they'll watch negative montages. <laughs> Alright, so I hit that switch. Ah, oh, one of the pieces of artwork is in here. So, there's two areas over there. Oh, I see. I gotta do it from the other side. See that? I gotta do it from over there. Aha, they're gonna switch down on ground level over here. There's another switch. That did it. They activated everything. Like a spring breeze. There we go. I feel like a new sponge. Yeah, you just the met robot. the spongeinator. Now, probably got a platform again because now all the lasers are off.
Yes, you know, I can walk across if I get uh, over here. Here we go. Uh, the wobbly board. Nice, golden spatula. Very good. Oh no! That I did not know was gonna happen, but I made it anyway. Cool. Got him. Look at that. Statues of the characters. Well, all the townspeople. You know, there's something. It looks like there might be a higher level to it. Squidward. There is. There's a sock up there. See it? Oh, crap. How do I get up there? Oh, man. I think you have to platform on the lights. Yeah, I think so. There's a lot more to this stage. Oh my god, there's a ton more to this stage. Alright, let's get going. There's nothing like the smell of Ugh. bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Also, Ms. Kaboom chewed. He said, please take your time to look at the artwork in the place. There's photos on the wall. They're pretty gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's all, it's all it is. It's all different artwork of Spongebob. Like, it's supposed to be Picasso. It's supposed to be like a, a nicely painted one. <clears throat> Fresh like a spring breeze. Do that. Haha! <laughs> King Neptune. <clears throat> oh god, that's supposed to be the screen. Get to the face. I feel like a new sponge. Yeah, look at that. Squidward. It's a game bounce out on the beach. Whoa, thunderstorm. You know what? There's a thunderstorm robot right over there. See that? Thank you, Panda Girl Reward, for another cheer. I appreciate that. Oh, I almost fell right there. That was bad. I almost fell. I think this is how you get the sticky sock. Oh, no! Shit! Shit! Well, at least we're going back from here. Damn, I gotta do all that platforming again. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Stuck. There we go. Come on. I feel like a new sponge. Okay. It's just saving the games to Derek. I mean, I could. The game technically should be auto saving. If it's working, that is. Right? It's working. That's good. That's good. Okay. 